All right. Uh, this is section 7.3, example four. Um, some of you may have remembered these from science, the Punnett squares to use for um, hereditary or genes and things. All right. So each of the two cats has one black patch gene. So the dominant here is black. And then there's a tan. Any gene combination with a capital B results in black patches and an offspring fur. And the Punnett square shows the possible gene combinations of the offspring and the resulting patch colors. What percent of the possible gene combinations result in tan patches? Okay, and tan patches. Well, the only one you can get tan patches is if it's got TT. Okay, and since this is a quarter of this square, that's 25%, or in decimal form, you can write 0 0.25. What percent? Okay, it's, it is asking for percent, so I would write 25%. Show how you could use a polynomial to model this. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually quite easy. So BB, which is kind of like B squared, I'll do capital B squared. There's only one box with it, right? So 25% of, of this whole Punnett square is B squared. So I'm going to put 0.25 because that's 25%. All right. Then I have BT and BT. So let's see. There's two boxes. That makes up half of this whole thing. So that's going to be 0.5. And then this, the TT, only makes a quarter of it, so 25. But I'm not going to write TT. I'll write T squared. This looks like a polynomial, does it not? I just did a Punnett square into a polynomial. So uh, that's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool to see how you can match our algebra polynomials with uh, science.